Hello and welcome to Board Stupid. My name's Wayne. And I'm Matt. And do you have the need for speed? Oh yes. <laughs> do you just want a rush of adrenaline in your life? <laughs> Absolutely. And sometimes you might do. You might be by plane, might be by train, might be by camel, might be by horseback. Yeah. Whatever it is, sometimes you could be running, you just want to race. And Matt, that's what this video is about. Oh yes. This is our top five best racing games to be the first to the finish line. And that's tremendously exciting because we love a racing game. We do. And uh, yeah, they've really progressed from the old roll and move stuff from back in the day. And there's some amazing stuff out there and they come in all different shapes and sizes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in our list, we got everything from uh, card games to hand management to um, some uh, dice chucking, yeah, to so a little bit of betting, yeah. to a bit of bit of a little bit everything. of everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. So these are games based on racing. Yes. Um, some of them are more racing than others, but um, you'll see on the list. You will see. And before we dive into that, the best thing that you can do to get a spice of that adrenaline and speed in your life. Yeah, it's race to hit the subscribe button. Race right there and click it. Yeah. If you click it, you win. You I win. Mean, you got like immediately like you get your trophy, you get best your race medals. ever. Just bam. Yeah, you got the Push champagne it. bottle doing um, best way yeah, to win. Exactly. Mate. Yeah, yeah. Click the subscribe button. If you want to win again, by doing that, here's your reward. You get a 10% discount from Into the AM. You can check out our special link below or use the code that was on the screen to get 10% off on top of any other discount. Yeah, so if you go on the website, Best go have a look because they got some fantastic geeky t-shirts like the one that Wayne is wearing at the moment uh, and a lot of things, a lot of different design. They change designs like literally weekly. They've got so much stuff. And it's a they, summer campaign coming up as yeah, well. Loads of new they stuff. They always yeah. got discounts on their website. What we're giving you is a 10% on top of that discount. So Even if you find better. a 50% discount, this is a 10% added to that. So treat you yourself. Go. Treat yourself. Well done. Be a winner. Let's dive in to the top five. <laughs> okay, Matt, let's go with number five and you're going to lead us in because you could race on any type of thing, really. Yeah. You've got horses, you've got cars, you've got even. You can camels, you can do it, yeah. Even camels. <laughs> yeah, you can. And we're talking about camel up. Uh, Camel Up is a Spiel des Jahres, Spiel des Jahres. with the Jahres, <laughs> winners of a few years ago. Um, and it's a fantastic um, betting slash racing game. So it's, it's overall, you've got some camels going around the track and uh, you are betting on the one that you would like to, to win. Uh, you're rolling some dice to make sure that to, to check which of the camels are going to move um, and the, there's a, this fantastic piece on the board that is the pyramid where you put all the dice inside you shake it you press a button and one dice comes out and that will determine which one of the camel will move um, throw into this a couple of um, um, crazy things, like what we like to call it, <laughs> yeah. uh, the crazy camels. <laughs> uh, there are two camels, they're going to race on the opposite direction. Yeah, they're sort of coming towards you, which is hilarious. Now, the, um, the, the very fun things about these games is uh, each time a camel moves in a position of another camel, they go on top of each other. So it start to stack. So let's say that the blue is first and the green is just behind. The green moves on top of the blue but then the blue moves after the blue will carry over the green with him so the green is still the, in a position ahead um, in respect of the blue um, the, the two crazy camels that the, the black and the white racing on the opposite direction they might you're one of your um, uh, camel might end up on the on the black on the white and they will start taking them backwards, backwards. Brilliant. Um, so yeah and on top of that you're doing the 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 betting on who's gonna win who's gonna be last and uh, and all that the, the usual like betting um for 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 raising yeah um it's a it's a very simple game uh it, but it's super fun to it's play. a great fun game and the more players the better I think yes, for Camelot. Yes. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, uh, like Matt said, I spiel 
potentially Irish winner from a few years ago. Uh, a great game that you can bust out. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a family game. plus game, but yeah. it's always fun. Try to bring it out on a on a on a night with a few friends after you had a, a couple of drinks, a couple of whiskeys, and yeah. I'll, I I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna have a great time. Absolutely. Coming up. For our next one, we're staying in the betting world uh, with a very different game. Uh, we're going down on horses this time. We certainly are. We're going with Long Shot the Dice Game. Now, horse racing has been... <laughs> That's exactly it. Horse racing has been very much synonymous with the betting world for yeah. a long, long yeah, time. Especially here in the UK. Especially here in the yeah. UK. It's a, whole, it's a whole thing. It's a vibe. And so with Long Shot, it takes that and turns it into an amazing blend of racing game, bidding slash betting game, and also dice game. Yeah. Uh, it's great. And also roll and write. Yeah. Um, so it, I, to me, it's a racing game. Betting game, take him uh, clever, the um, uh, clever, yeah. clever uh, mechanisms where you got you rolling the dice, you got that your card where you can do the bingo, you can uh, um, add bets and all the stuff, and mix it all together, and it makes it what is for me my favorite party game at today. <laughs> it's amazing. This is a party game for board gamers. It yeah. is really amazing. You have eight horses. And you have what is essentially a coloured d8 and then a dice, you, uh, a normal d6. You roll them both together and the d8 will tell you which horse moves and the dice will tell you how far they move. The d6 tells you how yeah. far they move. That's it. Pretty simple, simple as that. But it gets spicier. Once the horse has moved, um, each horse has its own specific card which will tell you if there's any other horses that will also move. Yeah. And that's linked to how likely they are to win. So the number one horse will pretty much always move, no matter what other horse moves. Yeah. Because it's linked to all the other horses. But the number eight horse, probably not going to move at all. But at the same time, that's the, um, yeah. Yeah. At the same time, we your when on your um, on your card, you can buy um, to add another horse to another horse movement. For example, you can take the the number. Um, horse number three, and I will buy the power to have uh, horse number eight to move every time the number three moves. So you can start seeing like, all right, if I'm really betting eye on eight, and uh, I'm making like eight is moving every time mm. any other um, uh, horse moves, that's going to give me an advantage. So Absolutely. I know that I can bet high on number eight. So yeah. you can kind of give powers to your to your horses absolutely and you're thinking why would i ever like bet on horse eight if horse one moves all the time and horse eight never moves well that's because that's put in the actual odds on each horse that's going to win yeah so the horse horse one it's the favorite so you, your payout if you it's bet on be horse very one, low. Really low but on, if horse eight wins you're going to get a huge payout and that's how you win the game by having the most money at the end yeah and what makes it even better is you can actually buy these horses yeah. during the game. And if you've you got enough money, you can like invest it and buy a horse and have a stake in that horse in winning. And if that horse that you own wins, you get a huge bonus at the end. Exactly. And yeah. even better, you have these crazy like abilities and stuff that you can activate during your turn, uh, during like the, the bingo sort of part of, of your player board. Uh, once you cross off a, a column or, or a row, you can move horses backwards or move horses forwards yeah. or um, activate different powers on your board. It's a great, great game. It's a, as you said, it's a party game for board gamers. There, there is a lot going on. Yeah. There, is a, there are a lot of mechanics, but they're all very simple and they're all very well known in the board game community. Yeah. Um, but yeah, at, at, as I said, it's, at today is my favorite party game. It is amazing. I took this, you know, my final word on this game, because I love it. I took this on a work trip to Texas a few years ago and people that didn't really play many mm -hmm. board games. Uh, we took it to a pub, and by about the second, halfway through the second game, people were standing on the table, yeah, 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 shouting that, at yeah. the wooden horses. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Why didn't you roll that dice? It's an amazing game. I love Long Shot the Dice yeah, game. Yeah. You should love it too. And it comes with a very like, low price. It's a very small box that you yeah. can take around. So um, yeah, it's definitely have a look. Brilliant, yeah. Please do check that game out. Long Shot the Dice game, our number four. So moving on to number three, we've had some very civilized betting and bidding. 
But yeah. now we're getting more into the world of just wild, crazy carnage of the racing. Abs absolutely. And we're talking about um, one of the our recent favorite. Yeah. Uh, and he's Thunder Road right up. Vendetta. Thunder Road Vendetta is. Uh, uh, if you ever played Car um, Carmageddon uh, <laughs> when you were a kid, you got very much that feeling. Yeah. Um, each player will have um, uh, three cars that are different sizes, and those cars will move along the track. A track full of, um, um, there could be mines or there's jumps, drops, there's, there's rocks, there's whatever. There is everything and it's basically a dice placement um game you roll all your dice at the start of the of your round and then you need to allocate those dice to your three vehicles at the start of the game or at the start of every turn um now what's going to happen um some of them will be for the movement of the vehicle some of them is to activate powers for example um speeding up one of your vehicles or calling the in uh, calling the, the, the chopper the chopper so is an helicopter that you can call and uh, and shoot another card now shooting all the cards is fantastic Very what cool. you can do during your turn as an action you can shoot the vehicles that are in front of you and uh, if you do it you can hit them and every time you hit the car or a car takes damage you will take out a car a damage car from uh, from the pile and you'll see what's gonna happen uh, some of the damage will make the car um, like go left or right or, or fly or, off or in some direction off, <laughs> or uh, just take damage yeah. or a lot of different a lot of different things and one of the things that could happen is that the car could collide with another car and then when it's the other mechanics com comes in yeah um so every time the two two vehicles collide you stack them one on top of each other and then you start rolling dice to see what's gonna happen to which vehicle you get some crazy combos going on with this car slams into this one pushes it backwards which hits another car which throws it into the the chopper and then blows up it's yeah like, oh, it's really brilliant it's great you you could it's literally carded. Shoot, shoot one car and that car hits another car then it's another car that hits another car and it's mayhem and it's very much that is very much the, the feeling of the game um, it's not it doesn't take itself too seriously it's not a serious game mm. uh, it's, uh, it's a mayhem racing yeah, um, it's great and the, there are two ways you can win the game one is to complete the race to be to have the first vehicle arriving at the at the end and the game's got this very um cool um gold i say golden axe mechanics like golden axe the game in in the 80s you got a scrolling map yeah when you get to the end you put a new bit on the end right and then, yeah. yeah and you scroll and you scroll everything the other way of winning is in like Armageddon, it's been the last man just, standing. It's been the last one left. <laughs> it's such a fun game. This is like, ma like Mad Max and yeah, Borderlands. Yeah, it's very, it's that kind of yeah, it's very Mad Max. Um, driving yeah. around like a yeah. maniac. It is wonderful. It's not particularly heavy. Yeah. Um, it is very like cinematic it and action-packed. It is a great, great racing game. Yeah. Full of and we, we played a lot. We can't wait to, to play I'm the like expansions that. as well that are yeah. coming out. So, yeah, absolutely amazing. Thunder Road and Vendetta. All right, Wayne, for number two, um, we are, again, going back in time. It's a game that now has got a few years, but it's still <laughs> really strong. Really is. Um, at, at, at the first glance, it doesn't look like it's a racing game, but it's very much... 100% a racing game. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you're not racing in a car or on a horse. You're literally like... You are on foot. Or in a you canoe. You are on a or a canoe, or exactly. Like With a machete, maybe. Yeah, and what we're talking about? We're talking about Quest for El Dorado. Now, the quest for El Dorado is what, like, a great game. what a great game. It's one of my favorite games of all time, mm -hmm. full stop. I see why. Yeah. yeah, it's such a brilliant game. This is a Reiner Knizia gem. Uh, it is essentially a combination of deck builder and racing game. And it's absolutely genius how it works. Uh, you have a map that you're trying to get to the end to mm -hmm. to get to El Dorado. And on the map, there are tons of little hexes. The hexes will have different colors. 
uh, which will represent different types of terrain, yeah, like you know, the, the forest, forest yeah, the or, sands, or, yeah, the, or, yeah, the, 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 the water, river, exactly. Yeah. So, and the cards that you're buying will help you get through those types of terrain. Very, very clever. You on your turn, very simple. You draw your hand of four cards, you play them, uh, and you move your person uh, as far as you can, to, yeah, yeah, according to what card you've played. If you've got green and you've got blue, you move across the, the forest and then into the river. Uh, and the cards that you buy will unlock different variations on that. It is amazing. And one of the great things about this game is that blocking is a real thing. It is. You can't move through other players. And the way that the maps are set up, knowing how people have made their decks as you go, sometimes you can sort of get your, your dude in a specific position and be like, oh, okay, I can just sit here for a little bit yeah, and build my yeah, deck. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. one can get past me until you can buy another card to maybe get around. It's such a clever... Clever system. This has never failed for me. No, no, it's, such it's, a great it's super good. As you say, you got your your deck and you got the open market yeah. where you can buy more cards. For example, if you know that you need to cross the river, you will need to buy the card that lets you move through through water. Um, and if the map that is great because it's modular, so every time you can set up in a, in a different ways. If you see there is a lot of, of, of water, but not many water cards on in the market, that card, you know that it's gonna be really, <laughs> really valuable. Good. Yes. <laughs> um, so no, it's, um, it's absolutely great. It's got very much Indiana Jones feelings yeah. of running into the forest to get to, to El Dorado. And uh, yes, you say there is a lot of strategy. Really is. Know, knowing like, for example, if there are not many water cards that that on the market, you know that people just will have the basic ones. So you can um, you can think like, all right, they're not gonna have that many movement in the water. So if I shield myself here, yeah. they need to come, they need to pass through me, but they can't pass through me. So yeah, absolutely. yeah. It's... and because it's completely open information at the start of the game, you know what the map looks like. Yeah, you know all the terrain, so you can completely strategize your your deck. Yeah, 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 um, exactly. Building approach. Yeah. You say, okay, I'll, I think about it, I'm going to take this path, I'm going to go through there, I'm going to go over through that river, and then I'm going to go over that desert, and then, then I'll get that way. And I'll try and build my deck that way. There's ways to thin your deck, like in any other deck building game. It is just tremendous. And in the last sort of third, when everyone starts to get towards the end, it really starts to feel it like is. a race. When you start busting out these massive cards, I'm like, I'm moving 12 spaces and getting around here. It's absolutely amazing. And what a simple, beautiful idea, Matt, as well. Uh, absolutely. It's a right and ETF, yeah, like, 100% genius. like genius. Yeah. As soon as you go, okay, this card does this, you immediately understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, and the beauty of the, of the artwork on the cards, that literally you pick it up and you understand immediately, even without knowing the rules, <laughs> what, what well, that, that probably card is, means. Yeah. And it's an absolutely um, yeah. piece of art. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic game. So, Quest for El Dorado, our number three. Just number two. Two. Oh. Jeez, we're at number two. Our number two, even better than that. It's a yeah, it's amazing. Well worth number two. There's only one game better. Matt, it's the pole position. It's the final lap. We're into the, the last straight, in the final stretch. And there is just one. There's only one game. Uh, this, I think, is a step or two above uh, all the others that we named in this list. It's That's the, my personal take. It is the best racing game on the market, the best racing game ever made. And it's a racing, proper racing game with cars, because we're talking about hit pedal to the metal. It couldn't be anything else. It's a fantastic, fantastic game. Um, is a is very well known at this point. It, like he broke the market a couple yeah, of years ago. Days of Wonder um, smashed it. It is um, it is an end management racing game. Uh, what's going to happen is you got your your stack of cards uh, that you're going to draw every turn. Um, it's up to seven cards, and you got this very clever mechanisms. At the start of the turn, you can move your brake up or down your on gear stick. your gear sticks up and down on the um, on a tracker, and depending on what gear you are, those are the number of cards that you can play. So if I'm in in second gear, I can play two cards. Now on the cards, you will have the speed. That means like how much movement the card is gonna move. And um, then you're gonna have some stress cards that basically you play the stress card 
and you need to show the first card yeah, on, the, top deck, on, whatever, on yeah. the deck. So you don't really know which which um, which kind of speed you're gonna go. And controlling the speed is really important because you're gonna have uh, whatever you need to do a turn, a bend, a chicane, or something like that. There's gonna be some checkpoints where the game is gonna check what speed are you going. Uh, for example, if on one of the bends you can your speed limit must be three, in order to to go through it safely, your speed will have to be three or more taking some hit where the game takes the name. It's, that, yeah, and that's an amazing mechanism. This game represents your heat, your engine by going at maximum capacity. Yep. So when you start going around these corners over the speed limit, you're like, the heat is coming out of your engine. And that is represented in the game by you spending it from your engine and putting it in your discard yep. pile. And if you run out of heat, you spin out and crash and have to start again at the corner. It's such a smart, Mechanism. Yeah, it's um, it's, it's so cool. It's it's super good. Is again this hand management and this um, heat management. Every time there's something that you want to push your card, there are more heat cards. Um, at a certain point, your hands is gonna be full of heat cards that you can't really use because there's no they, speed on them. There's no speed. Don't go anywhere. Yeah. So you always then need to think about it. Okay, how do I get rid of this card again? There are mechanisms in the game, like for example, going down gears will let you remove uh, some heat cards from your hand. And put them um, back in your engine. You can cool down. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So the, the 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 lower the gear, the more you can cool down. But of course. The lower you go, the less cards, the speed cards you can play. That means that someone else is gonna, <laughs> is yeah, gonna take race all that. Um, no, absolutely fantastic. It's an um, um, end management strategy game. In the core box, um, there is an expansion as well. It's absolutely great. We're talking about just the core box for now. The core box comes with the base game. Uh, you got four different tracks. Artwork is absolutely stellar. It's one Drake. of my favorite art. Artwork yeah, ever, ever, ever. Uh, I say four different tracks. You got all the minis for the cards that are absolutely fantastic. You got um, different player boards. Just the, it, it, they're all the same. Just the graphics is, yeah. is different. Again, amazing, amazing graphic. You can recognize someone inspired by this or that card brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really like it. Um, but on top of that, then you can start adding modules to your game. That means that after you play. The first few games with a basic game, you can start um, adding, for example, the um, uh, the garage module. Brilliant! And Absolutely the, superb. Yeah, the garage module is basically lets you start doing a little bit of more um, um, deck Ace, building yeah. asymmetry. Asymm asymmetry. Yeah. There's gonna be some. Um, uh, there's gonna be an open market, yeah. and uh, people will start getting the cards from the open market to add to their to their ends. So that it's gonna be that my deck is gonna be very different from from Wayne's one once we start doing this thing. So you can start strategizing. Okay, I'm taking from the market the the the, the very high speed ones. Or if you know that there's gonna be a lot of places where you can actually keep down on the on yeah, that yeah. on that pedal, or if the of there are a lot of bends, you want to get cards that let you do I don't know um, a lot of cooldowns yeah, so yeah, you yeah. can play can play with your hit. Um, another module that we got is yeah, you the got weather. The weather You've got one a journalist in there as yeah, well, and that um, changes the, the the how the track behaves. Yeah. Brilliant. And then you got the 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 star um, the star pilots. They is basically oh, the legend. The legend. Yeah. So it's an AI deck that will let you always play to with six cards, even if it's two of you. Uh, the Which AI, is amazing, yeah, by the way. And the AI is is very simple. There are literally like a couple of rules. You know that if the the legend is behind you, it's gonna do this. If it's in front of you, it's gonna do that. But it works absolutely perfect. And I and I will recommend everybody to start immediately with yeah. the legend decks. As soon as you got your the rules um, uh, sorted yeah. out, add the legend because add the, the yeah, because racing with six cars. It's way different than racing with two or three cars. It's absolutely such an amazing game. I will say as well, Days of Wonder created one of the most generous boxes you can buy today. You buy the base game of Heat and you have everything in there that you think you'll ever need. Yeah. There is already an expansion, which yeah. we don't think is even necessary. But if you love the game, I, it has a I, I really stuff. like it because it yeah. adds more two more tracks. It exactly. Adds the, it, it adds the um, more garage cars. Yeah, exactly. It's just more, more, more. 
But there is plenty in that box. I oh, think, absolutely, just, absolutely. It is just a yeah. It's a fantastic game. He it, is. It's the best racing game. That's it, it is. It's number like one. it's uh, number one of the number ones. That's it. Matt, should we talk about a couple of honourable mentions? Yeah. Let's do that. All right. If we um, uh, honourable mention before we, we we say goodbye to you guys, um, the first one will be Flame Rouge. Yes. Uh, Flame Rouge is um, the dad of. He's yeah, like, yeah. like the grandpa or the like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So um, uh, Flame Rouge is very much similar in terms of mechanics to heat, but in this case we're talking about bicycles and we're talking about the Tour de France yeah. uh, kind of like um, setup. Um, if you like the team, uh, if you prefer the team to um, instead of motors, engine, all the stuff, Flame Rouge is still a very, very solid excellent, excellent game. Peak. Uh, I still prefer Heat. It's got a little bit of the hand management. It's a little bit more. Um, it's more focused on what you've got in your hands, yeah. as opposed to what's on the on the on the exactly. Board. So that that would be my first honourable mention. Yeah, we've got a couple of quick ones as well. We've got uh, Downforce, which is a uh, very light, breezy yeah. racing class bidding game that you can play. It's family plus game, very very good. Uh, and then also jamaica another good recommendation mm. it's been around for a while now well over 10 years probably even longer than that crikey uh, and it is another fantastic very interactive family plus game using dice to move your boats around the island of jamaica shooting each other grabbing treasure trying to be the first to, to finish yeah it's, it's a fun, fun family plus game we'll both yeah, yeah. fun fun family plus games so any of these uh would be uh, great additions to your collection but if you pick anything up from the top five I think you'll be very mm, happy indeed. Yeah. Matt, should we take it to the outro? Yes. So that was our top five racing games for you. And oh my gosh, the adrenaline dump is oh, real, mate. Yes. I'm yes. Feel tired. I need a beer. Um, I need I need some champagne. Yep. Yeah. Uh, don't drive after. Don't drive afterwards. Yeah, so I finished driving. Yeah. Now I have my champagne. Cool. And <laughs> to celebrate, I think everyone should join me in hitting the subscribe button. Uh, to really top off what has already been an amazing race to the finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hit it and the champagne bubble's going to just like, Wee! yeah, it's amazing. Um, <laughs> Go do that. Yeah, just do it. Just it's, do it. It's, try it. Well, literally try it. Let us know in the comments if yeah. champagne Did spontaneously yeah. came out of your screen. Yeah. Let us know. <laughs> you might need to see an IT person about it. Uh, and then also we do have a special gift for you, as we said at the beginning, 10% discount from Into the AM. So yeah, please check do the check link. that out as well. And if you liked this video, uh, let us know in the comments below what are your favorite racing games? Mm -hmm. Have we missed one? Oh, we definitely missed one, because I think there are other like There's some great tons, racing games. But th these are our Does favorites. Does anyone have a copy of Um Reichenbreit? The, uh, oh yeah, the, 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 the from the 80s. From the 80s, I think, yeah, or the 90s. 90s, yeah. early yeah, 90s. 90s, yeah, 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 yeah. Let us know, we never played that. And it looks like a Flamme Rouge's yeah, brand I will play even it. before, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let us know if you played that and what that's like. And uh, yeah, check out the rest of our content. Mm -hmm. They should do that, shouldn't they? Yeah, absolutely. And we'll catch you again real soon. Ciao.